In this video, we will solve this right triangle given the two legs A and B. To the left, we have all the formulas we need to solve a right triangle. Before we solve the triangle, let's start by reviewing all these formulas. So here we have a right triangle with the legs A and B and the hypotenuse C. For all the angles, we use uppercase letters. Angle A is the angle opposite of side A, angle B is the angle opposite of side B, and the right angle C is the angle opposite of the hypotenuse. Below we have the trigonometric functions of angle A and angle B. Here sine of angle A is the opposite side A divided by hypotenuse C. Cosine of angle A is the adjacent side B divided by hypotenuse C. And tangent of angle A is the opposite side A divided by the adjacent side B. If working with angle B, then sine of this angle is the opposite side B divided by hypotenuse C. Cosine of angle B is the adjacent side A divided by hypotenuse C. And tangent of angle B equals the opposite side B divided by the adjacent side A. In any of these functions, we have three variables, that is an angle and two sides. So if any two variables are given, we can use these trigonometric functions to find the missing variable. Below we also have the Pythagorean theorem, and that is the sum of the squares of the legs equals the square of the hypotenuse. Then using this theorem we can find side C, side A or side B. C equals square root of A squared plus B squared, A equals square root of C squared minus B squared, and B equals square root of C squared minus A squared. Now the last two formulas are used to find angles A and B. We know that in any triangle the sum of all three angles equals 180 degrees. If this angle is 90 degrees, this means that the sum of these two angles is also 90 degrees. Then if we are given angle B, we can find angle A by subtracting angle B from 90 degrees. And if we are given angle A, we can find angle B by subtracting angle A from 90 degrees. Now, once we have all the formulas reviewed, we will get back to the problem we have to solve. In this triangle, we are given side A and side B, and we have to find the hypotenuse C, angle A, and angle B. Now, we can start solving this triangle by finding the hypotenuse C. And for this, we will use the formula C equals square root of A squared plus B squared. We also need to understand that this is not the only way to start this problem. For example, instead of finding the hypotenuse C, we can find angle A or angle B. To find any of these two angles, because we are given sides A and B, we can use any of these two tangent functions. If we use the first one, we will find angle A, and if we use the second one, we will find angle B. I will start the problem by finding the hypotenuse first. The formula is C equals square root of A squared plus B squared. And now we will replace A with 12.5, so we will have 12.5 squared plus B is 18.4 squared. Here we will use a calculator and we will get that C is approximately 22.2 units. Next, we will find one of these two angles. To find angle A, I will use the formula tangent of A equals side A divided by side B. So let's write down the formula tangent of angle A equals A over B. And we use this formula because we know side A and we know side B. Let's replace and we will have tangent of angle A equals 12.5 over 18.4. 
And to find angle A, we need to take tangent inverse of 12.5 over 18.4. Here we will need to use a calculator and we will get that A is approximately 34 degrees. So far we found the hypotenuse C and angle A. Now we have to find angle B and the easiest way to do this is to use this formula. So the formula is B equals 90 degrees minus angle A. Then we will replace A with 34 degrees. So we will have B equals 90 degrees minus 34 degrees and we will get that B equals 56 degrees. So we found that the hypotenuse is 22.2, angle A is 34 degrees and angle B is 56 degrees. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.